It's been a really long time since I did a video on the Supernote. Not because I don't love the Supernote. I love the hardware, I love the software, and I love their design philosophy. But the thing I could never get on board with is the writing experience. And I'd say that's a pretty big deal in an e-ink tablet. Well, today we've got a new tablet from Supernote. We've got the Supernote A6 X2 Nomad. And they set out to solve that problem with the new Feelrite 2 film. Today we're gonna to unbox it, put it through its paces, and see if it can finally solve the writing feel issue that has made it so I couldn't daily drive the Supernote. Let's dig in. If you're new around here, my name is Brandon, and on this channel, I share practical tips to help you improve your focus and creativity. And if that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on the videos that I post here every other week. All right, back to the video. Let's go ahead and get this started. Repairability affects chassis and design. So the interesting thing about the Supernote is it wasn't very flashy, but it was incredibly functional. So like the plastic wasn't gonna woo you with how it felt in your hand, but from a everyday usage perspective, it was actually really, really nice. It was probably the only tablet I have that if I were to drop it, I wouldn't really be worried about it. The durability aspect of it was really nice. And I think they focused on what the experience of using it was like versus like what is a premium feel. And I think they catch a lot of flack for it, at least in the upfront sales side, but I think actually using it, it feels really nice. What else are people saying? I saw the Supernote has the new bars on the side for shortcuts. I'm wondering if they're raised or flat. Yeah, so as a lefty, I think it's really interesting around what that's going to feel like, and does that fundamentally change the experience? Oh, all right, let's take a look. Oh, more questions. These questions is, will it match your preference for writing? That is the real question. Uh, for those who haven't followed along really closely, I really love the software on the Supernote. I love a lot of the design decisions they made. I think a lot of the design decisions that they've made make a ton of sense but I just didn't like writing on it. I felt like my pen bogged down and that's a very, very personal thing. Go back and watch the video if you haven't, but it's tricky, which is they got everything right, except for the writing feel, in my opinion. Again, highly subjective in that regard. All right, so let's get in here. And I'm really excited about this one, so I'm just gonna rush into it, get started. For those who write. It's a nice like little box. Okay, so they actually have two separate things in here this time. It has Supernote and then there's this piece of like adhesive that holds it all together. And then it says Supernote on this side. All right, let's take a look. Really cool packaging this time. Really, really nice. Okay, in standard Brandon Boswell fashion, we always have to start with the accessories. So Supernote pen, never wears out, 0 0.7 millimeter, ultra fine nib, never needs to be charged. Yeah, all sounds good. I wonder if this is standard. Like, is this all one package that is delivered together? Usually it's all separate, but this makes it look like it's all one package. Okay, this actually opens this way, I'm done. So for those who write, this pen adopts a high hardness tip, which is only suitable for the screen surface of the Supernote with the feel right self-recovering film. I wonder if what they mean by that is, well, I think they're both technically feel right. So they're just saying only use this with the Supernote, which that makes sense. Please close the cap or press the tail of the pen to retract the tip after use to prevent damage. Okay, I've never actually had the standard pen, so I'm, I'm actually really curious to see what this is like. Let's move this box out of the way. So this is the pen, has a clip here, plastic body, has Supernote. It says Supernote there, and it's retractable, which is pretty nifty. 
The Heart of Metal doesn't do that, and I really liked the Heart of Metal. It's cool. No more pen cap. Uh, so this is my super note. Um, this is the Heart of Metal pen. And I actually really like the Heart of Metal pen, but very, very different design this time around. Clicky, which I actually am really interested in. The Foley, I was wondering if the magnets can be felt while writing on the Nomad. As in like the magnets adjust, like, like they pull on the pen? Is that your question? My guess is no, but we'll have to check it out. So just for those who are following along at home, that's the new pen, and this is the Heart of Metal pen that I've grown accustomed to on the Super Note. So you had a cap that you had to keep track of. Retractables? Much nicer for on the go. So I'm into that. I'm excited. All right, let's break into the folio. Let's move this out of the way. If it feels bumpy, like the magnets cause a bumpy feel when you're writing. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, supposedly the texture of the film is supposed to be a little bit more bumpy. We'll have to see whether that actually holds true. Actually, one of the best things about the original Super Note that I don't think got enough credit is I really liked this folio. This one is dead because I haven't used it in a bit. But this folio is so nice for just on the go. I remember a year and a half ago, two years ago, my daughter was in camp all the time and this was the easiest like grab and go tablet of the three tablets i could just it was just great for on the go and so the a6x2 i think is going to be similar i think it's gonna be a really great on the go tablet but pure speculation because it's still in the box over here all right let's go Items. <laughs> the secret to happiness is freedom and the secret to freedom is courage. I agree with that. Okay. So white this time around, pure white, at least compared to like the original super note. So original, eh, it's kind of hard to tell. If we get over here on the camera, you can kind of see the difference probably a little bit better. So kind of off white on the original Supernote and then white, white on here. So Josh, the Supernote is fantastic. The software is excellent. They understand the usability of e-ink and what you're trying to do with focus. They've got really great tooling from a software side. It's very clear that they understand the user. Hardware, they took some interesting design decisions and I think the end result is really good. The problem for me is the surface of the tablet itself is soft, and so your pen bogs down in it. And I just didn't like the writing feel. Everything else about it, them as a company, them as a product, I love. I just, I don't love writing on it. And it's unfortunate because everything else they got right. I'm hoping that the new Feel Right 2 film that this new device has and the more modern A5Xs has, have will make a big difference and improve the writing feel. And then I can actually seriously consider the Super Note. All right, so a couple of magnets here that are gonna hold everything. And this should give you an idea for what to expect size-wise. So definitely on the smaller side. This comes with the Feel Right pre-installed, right? Yes. So they all come with it pre-installed. As a user of it, you'd never know that it really has a film unless they told you. It's kind of like the Books Note Air. They also have a film, but from an end user perspective, you would never know. It just feels like that's the screen. but Actually, someone asked me this question, so I might as well reiterate it. If you ever scratch the surface of like a book's note air, which I've never done, but I've had users tell me they have, just peel the film off and put a screen protector on it. I don't know that books sells them themselves, but other companies do sell aftermarket screen protectors and, and you can just peel that off and put a new one on. How raised are the magnets from the side? They're raised. I think there's gonna be a notch on the super note itself that will these will sit in. So you'll get both the magnet holding it. You also have a little bit of a lip holding it too. You also get the loop. The loop 
is the same as last time, maybe a little bit bigger. If you have a A5X, the loop here is bigger this time. I'm not sure why. The pen is the same size or smaller. So, all right, so that is the folio. All right, let's get to the real star of the show. So what do you guys think about the live stream format? How does this compare to the pre-recorded stuff? Is this more fun, less fun? Curious your thoughts. All right, Super Note Nomad. I'm taking a very Notion art style here, which is cool. I like that feel. Elegant productivity. Assembled in China, designed by the Super Note team and community. That's a nice nod. They are very community oriented. They're definitely listening to users and they've got a really great roadmap. And as far as I've seen, they've actually followed their roadmap very, very closely, which is really cool. Yeah. All right, let's do this. so tiny and then looks like there's a screwdriver for repairs that's really cool it's nice that they just give you everything you need in the box they don't expect that you have any of this stuff quick start guide so I guess one thing I do know is there is an update for this device out of the box so I do need to get that started Let's come back to these. We can look at those while the device is updating. Ooh. Okay, so charges on the top. Button here. But how does it feel? So Josh, this is the fun thing about Supernote is it feels like plastic, uh, which is a bit unintuitive. It feels like good plastic, but it's plastic. And that's very different from most of the other ink tablets that you grab. Like the books is metal, the Remarkable's metal. They all feel very premium in the hand. Supernote does not feel premium in the hand, although this one's like got a little bit of weight to it, which that I think helps it. And so it says there is a film attached to the screen. Don't remove it. I wonder if someone actually tried to remove that. Let's see if you can see it. You really can't see that there's a film. It's not obvious. It just, yeah, it, it looks like it's made to be that way. Uh, but the screen texture feels very different. I need to write on it, but it does have a more textured feel to it compared to the original. The original is very smooth. Uh, very smooth, but uh, it digs. Whereas, yeah, this one's more textured. Can you guys hear this? So that's my fingernail on the original Super Note. This is on the, the new one. So louder and you can feel the difference. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to like pick it up on the recording, but yeah, it definitely has a more textured feel. Here, hold on, this could get real awkward real fast, but let's try this. That's the remarkable. We'll do the original super note. Very, very different. Very, very different. I said, let's turn this on and update it. And then I started testing how it felt. That's the first time we gotten to do that. Hold on, let's do it again. It's 
very satisfying. Magnet is very, very satisfying. <laughs> if the supernote feels like remarkable, that would be it for me. As in a good thing or as in a bad thing, Eric? Because I know for me, if it felt more like the remarkable, that would be a good thing. All right, let's test it out. Yeah, they are strong magnets. They're not like ridiculous. They're not like rare earth magnets or anything, but you don't really have to be real precise with it. Like it'll come in and out of this when you want it to and not when you don't, which I think is exactly what they were going for. Initial impressions are really nice there. It's also a really good feeling package in that regard. Sidebars for shortcuts. Are they raised? They're the same as before. It's it's built under the screen. They just have little sensors underneath. But now they're on both sides. So historically, it was just on this outside edge. And they're visually identical, but apparently they're on both sides now. All right, English, US, Wi-Fi. This is my Wi-Fi. All right, I'm gonna go put the password on off screen. All right, we're connected. The size from like a carry perspective is really nice. From a like, can I get all of my ideas into this size screen? That will be an interesting question. Does it feel too small for your liking? I don't know yet, I gotta write on it. I guess tab mini C was too small for me to actually write seriously on it, so it's going to be tricky to see if this one can, um, but we'll see. I mean, the fact that they added full landscape support could be really nice. Yes, I am willing to participate to help Supernote. I'm a lefty. Okay, refresh the screen with up, activate the sidebar down. No surprises there. There's our menu. So new notes there. Recent files are here. I, I, I know how to do this. I don't want to do this just now. Fine, let's do it. User guide, you've created a new note. I do want to do this, but I want to update first. Maybe we can come back and do this. Oh, undo redo is here? Oh, that's cool. All right, let's go update. <laughs> System. Oh, it is updating. How's it? Initial experience. So we have a notebook. I'm gonna have to like put my head in the stream. Uh, let's see. So this is weird. So why would it put my tooling on the left side when I told it I'm left-handed? So like if I was right-handed, that totally makes sense. I mean, it asked me which hand I use. I mean, I can move it, but it just seems like a silly thing to have it be over there. Actually, historically, I believe I've preferred it on the bottom. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, moment of truth. What does it feel like to write on it? So how does it feel? It feels good. <laughs> it feels good. It doesn't bog down. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I 
This is also like the best feature ever. The fact that, okay, so sorry, I didn't explain this. So when you write on the super note, so let's say I wrote my name. On the remarkable, you can double tap to undo. On the super note, it doesn't be different. If you hold two fingers on the screen, you can draw a selection at any point. And then from here, you can do a bunch of things. So you can link. And honestly, I'm a little bit out of practice. So those of you who are super note daily drivers at this point, remind me what everything does. But this one's cut. I think these are headings. They have links now, which I haven't even used links yet because, again, I don't daily drive a super note because I didn't like the writing experience. But there's lots of stuff. What, what did I just do? For those of you who are smart, let me know what I just did. Undo redos down here. You can turn off touch down here if you want to. So this will toggle whether or not touch does anything. So you can say, hey, don't let my finger do anything. Although it still seems to do it. Oh, it's no touch for swiping. So this says, don't let me swipe pages with touch for those who accidentally do that. This says, do, do let me swipe, but only with two fingers. So that'll give me a new page once I get out of this screen. So now if I were to two finger swipe, I get a new page every time I two finger swipe. The biggest question answered. Uh, yeah, it feels significantly better. And I don't know how, I, I assume that's all just in the combination of pen and the feel right to film. Actually, we can test this. So hold on, take a look at these pens. Can you guys see this? Wheelie to focus, there you go. The pen tips feel the same. They look the same. So theoretically, this should feel the same. Yeah, it does. So if you have existing Supernote pens, they'll still feel good on the new ones. That still feels good. I want to know what these buttons do. Long press to edit. I know what cut does. Yeah, that's headings. I know about that one. This is text recognition. Nailed it. That's definitely what I wrote. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Maybe I should try and write neatly. Hold on. That wasn't fair. The second test after does it write well is can it read my name? I'm used to pressing the pen on my pages kind of hard. I guess I need to unlearn that for the sake of the screen. I mean, it's fine. Hey, it does recognize my name. I just have to write with some level of legibility and it's fine. All right, what is this one? Recognizing to calendar. So, okay, interesting. This is not a feature of any ink tablet I've ever used. Like. Books also has this calendar thing, and I haven't really found a practical use case for it. Just because I use digital calendars, like I use Google Calendar as my primary calendar. So like the idea of having a second calendar that kind of integrates, it's just not for me. It, I'm sure there are people who get a lot of value out of it. Although it does integrate, so I can have my Google Calendar here. I wonder what it's like to actually add stuff. Anyway, we're not going to get into that right now. That'll be for a more in-depth video. All right, let's get out of here. How are we doing on that software update? Okay, it looks like it's in progress. Pretty cool that cursive works. Yes, yes, cursive is good. All right, let's put the heart of metal back because I actually like this. Although I did notice something. It's got a little bit of a rattle. Can you guys hear that? Oh. So the back of it's got a little bit of a rattle. Not surprising, but they could probably have tensioned that out. Again, I'm nitpicking. That is a huge nitpick. Wish they had more folio styles. Same with back plates. Hopefully they expand on that in the future. I mean, what other colors do they have? I haven't really been paying attention to the different options. I think this white looks good, but I haven't looked at everything that's available. 
Supernote no longer supports selective file syncing. Yes, I knew this. To use note files and document annotations. Make sure that you've updated. They have the new Atelier app. We should go download that. Supports auto sync, supports opening, viewing, and editing. All right, let's update. Oh no, it's turning off. Only a bluish gray that they call dark blue. <laughs> okay. By the way, my remarkable two is looking over my shoulder right now with a very jealous expression. Yeah, it's gonna come down to size. They're they're very different in size. So just for comparison, I use my remarkable landscape like this. So going to the Supernote A6X2 is about half of the usable size that I'm used to. So once this thing updates, we'll try it in landscape and see how that feels. But I mean, it's not crazy smaller, but a little bit smaller. It's, it seems like it's gonna be nice on the go. I, again, I think Nomad is appropriate in the name. Uh, this will be a really great on the go device. So if you have like a little planner that you keep, or if you're a, a Moleskine user, Moleskine user, then this will be really good. Is Supernote gonna make a bigger size? Yes. So the A5 X2, I don't know that there's a date on it yet, but it's eminent. I would think early next year we should get an A5 X2. But actually the A5X already has this coding. Um, again, I need to clarify that, but I think the writing field difference we should get just naturally with the new film. And technically, Supernote sells this film on its own. So if you have an existing A5X, you could theoretically buy the film and apply it. Now, that, from what I understand, is a bit of a nerve-wracking process and uh, is not for the faint of heart. But if you really want the best writing feel on a Supernote, you can get it without having to buy a whole new device. It's a very useful size comparison. Oh, you're very welcome, Scott. I wouldn't dump Remarkable. I'd use both. So it's tricky because there, there's some challenge with having both, which is they don't integrate. And so as someone who's used all of them simultaneously, it starts to get really frustrating when you're like, oh, I need this note, but it's on the Remarkable. And I need this note, it's on the Super Note. At a certain point, you're like, I just want to use one and have it all in that one spot. I think it's okay to try both simultaneously, but for any long-term use, I would say commit to one and be happy with what you've got and ignore what everyone else is making because you'll drive yourself crazy trying to have the best of everything. Because honestly, none of them are perfect. I mean, maybe until we try this device out. <laughs> because this solves my biggest gripe with the super note. So that's, that gets really exciting. You could back up shared resources to drive. Yeah. As long as you convert them. So like you could convert to PDF and send it to drive. And then I guess you could pull it down on the super note. I haven't played a lot with trying to make that work, but theoretically that should work. Oh, there it goes. It's updating. All right, let's get this remarkable out of here. All right, let's try this again. Feels a lot better. I'm not happy that they're developing a successor to the A5X. Just bought the A5X. So I don't know that they're excited that they're making a successor to the A5X. From what I understand is they could just no longer source the components. And so they had to make a new one. But with that said, they did actually change a good bit. So I mean, I think it's kind of nice that they're updating. I wonder what this does. So sorry for those who are looking. There are three little pins here, and I'm not sure what those are for. All right, let's let's keep moving. Let, let's change our template. Oh, that's way too small. Is there a bigger one? No, I'm gonna have to put a custom template on it. I 
think this is going to be too big. Yeah, this is a good reminder. Before I put a custom template on it because I really liked the remarkable dots. And so uh, the five millimeters is too small. I guess seven is the right size for me, just eyeballing it. Let's try this eight millimeter. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Right, let's do a little bit more writing. The pen types in the notes area changed. I saw a calligraphy pen on Pixel Leaves unboxing, but I think it was the new drawing app. Uh, I don't think these have changed. Yeah, same stuff here. One of the really cool things about the way the Supernote works is you can have these pens preset, and so you can set them up the way you want. So I can have a marker, set it up more like a highlighter, and just have them preset the way you want, which is really nice. So like if I want Although I would say that that's too narrow. Let's see if we can make that a little bit bigger. Oh, I forgot about this. This is, a... all right. Am I forgetting or is there no way to make the highlighter bigger? Looks like the writing is satisfying. Yes, the writing is very satisfying. Actually, let me do a side by side with the Remarkable because I know someone was asking, how does this feel compared Okay, so, oh, actually, you'll get to see what I was saying about the dots, so don't go to sleep, Remarkable. So this is the Remarkable with the titanium nib. So this is not a Remarkable nib. This is a nib that you can buy on Amazon, and I really like it. Actually, I mean, titanium versus ceramic, so different materials, but similar writing experience. So here's sort of a side-by-side -side comparison. Does the titanium nib scratch the screen at all? Not that I've seen thus far. I mean, I can't guarantee that yours won't, but I've been using it for a few months now and have no issues. I'm not worried about it. So far, so good. All right, let's do it back to back. Oh, I'm done. Hold, please. So how does it feel? It doesn't give you quite as much feedback as the titanium nib on the Remarkable just because the Remarkable screen is harder. But overall, I think it's a big improvement from the A5X. Uh, as much as I wanted to love the A5X, I just couldn't get behind the writing experience. I don't have that same feeling here. This feels different. How do we put it in landscape mode? Hold on, I think we I think we might be getting close. What does that do? Uh, that's screenshot, okay. Wi-Fi, auto rotate, here we go. Ha, 
we found it. Okay, it's two fingers to scroll. This is cool. Where's my template? Is it bugged or am I stupid? Hmm, doesn't have the same template. So here's the comparison of the dots. I don't know if you can see it, but so like, I know I'm not supposed to write on that. So I want the dots to be like that, seven millimeters. How close to paper do these really get? I'm assuming it's like a coated plasticky paper feel. That's a good way to describe it. It kind of has a waxed paper feel. Please let me use that because I think that's a great way to describe it. All right, let's try it landscape. I'm so used to having the undo gesture on the Remarkable that this feels different. So it feels good. I guess one thing just to be aware of is just the Supernote is thicker. So if we were to compare this with the Remarkable, it's probably with, if you've got the folio on the back, which I assume you probably will with the Supernote, it's probably twice as thick. Again, this isn't scientific, but it's almost twice as thick. And so when I rest my hand on the Remarkable, my hand rests on the table. When I rest my hand on the Supernote, by the way, this auto rotate is sweet. It works exactly the way you would want it to, which is it zooms out when you're in portrait and it zooms in when you're in landscape, which I think makes the A6X not feel as small as it really is. Like, this is a tiny device. This is much, much smaller than my Remarkable, but it doesn't feel like a much tinier device. It feels like a pretty good usable space. Well done, Supernote. Really excited about what an A5X2 could do with this. Here, I wish I could do an undo gesture. Okay, so hold on. Oh, this is cool. So, all right, I could get behind this. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> all right, so be careful to not press this button when doing your forward gesture because you can delete the page or empty the page. Can I get rid of that button? I don't want that button there. No, that's dangerous. All right, undo redo over there is really cool. It's really nice. All right, let's 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 try something else. Let's try the ballpoint pen, the ink pen, excuse me. This is really cool. I like this a lot. 300 pixels per inch on a super note is so nice. Like that was one of the slightly annoying aspects of the Supernote is you could feel the fact that the anti-aliasing wasn't amazing. And then the 227 pixels per inch you also felt. So like to have this on 300 pixel per inch now, it's really, really nice. And I think I like this ink pen better. The ink pen feels good. I want the marker to be bigger. So like, I want it to be more like a highlighter and I want it to be bigger. Is there another highlighter tool or is it just the marker? I could have sworn there used to be a highlighter. Okay, so that gets me to my templates without having to go through the layers panel. You think it'll be uncomfortable to write a lot of text writing a book? Do you write a book on the go? 
Um, if you write a book on the go, this is good. If you write a book at your desk, I would get the bigger one. But it is a good question around like, how does it feel to write with it just in your hand? <laughs> I always do that. I think it feels fine. I think it feels really good. I think if you use this device in landscape, it's really nice. I think it would be too small in portrait, but in landscape, I think it's really cool. This gesture is cool. Like this is really sweet. I gotta get used to it. I'm not used to the fact that I can do that, but it's very intuitive especially if you've never used something else. Like this is really nice. I still gotta get used to not being able to swipe with one finger to scroll. I have to use two fingers to scroll, but it's snappy. The scroll feels pretty good. It has like a little lag at points, but overall it refreshes very quickly. And I'm not seeing a lot of ghosting. Like I wonder what that ghosting is like if I had a highlighter in here. That's a very dark highlighter. <laughs> a little bit harder, but still really good. Yeah, the undo redo is really cool. I'm going to wait to do the Atelier review just because I don't want this video to get too long. But overall, initial impressions for the a6x2 Nomad, it's really good. They upgraded the hardware, 300 pixels per inch feels excellent. The new film also feels really good. I think it takes away the primary issue I had with the Supernote. So initial impressions, really, really good. Obviously I'll be testing it more and get more hands on time with it. Now that the writing feel isn't challenging for me, I'll definitely be spending a lot more time with the Supernote. So. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to come by the Knowledge Workers Discord if you have any more questions. Actually, do come by the Knowledge Workers Discord and let me know any Supernote questions that you have that you want me to cover, either in upcoming sessions or in the full review. If you're a Remarkable user, I've got the Remarkable Made Simple course coming out, hopefully the first of the year. So reach out via the Knowledge Workers Discord or drop a comment if you're curious about that. I'll have stuff coming live on that in the next week or so as things finish up. So. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Cheers.